this money, make a cook small thing, I not get money, make a take send for my children. Now I can't they do this thing. Before I know now, I don't take over. I say what in the happen before I want run enter store, they don't even point me gone. Now I fall for that, begin the creep. He can't walk and leave me go with him gone. Before I know now, everybody don't run enter bush. Now I remain for this store. Now see the beast, even the right, they pot, they are not fish and lamb again. Now they roll for this place. I don't tire now. They walk out go house now. We are all run this run, go end now. Where we not even know what they happen. All our things don't spoil now. See, go come go see my rice. All our things we just they scatter up and down. People not gonna know where their children they what did they happen? We not even know and we just they carry the rod. I mean this morning now they don't come for night or then go come. We know they sleep set so so boot. We don't know what did they happen. <laughs> Discovered that uh, there were military men in my house. At about two o'clock, I heard some noise. It was not just a little noise. There was serious knock at the door. So I came. I tried to peek through one of these windows this way, and then I saw two men standing this way. As an elderly man, I thought whoever is there will still give me the respect of an elder. So I now got to the other side of the window where they were standing and then opened the door, the window. Immediately I shifted the window, they hit my face with the butt of the gun and then I fell to the ground. <laughs> Me. What really happened to you? What was your experience when military people came into your town? Speak louder, please. So, where they come, our community, and even they sleep before they come. Uh -huh. We are not even with us. As here, people they run, they run, click, 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 click. I inside my house now, too. And they come on. But the next day, when they sleep, mm -hmm. three of the soldiers. What I see, person pass my door and enter inside. Three of them. No way to shut. I want your four press me. Hurrah. I then do what they want to come out to. Nobody to help. Cry, 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 says nobody. Not a pass a day. All my private part, they prepare myself. I yesterday night, they even buy some drugs from me. And I wait to have. <laughs> so that, that is okay. that this the committee has suddenly become a ghost town. What is happening? Well, what has happened is that uh, uh, for some months now, there has been a military invasion into Prusa almost on a weekly basis. Quite recently, they stayed in the Prusa for one week before they left. This morning, they were in Oprosa. They got here by 3 o'clock. They got here 3 o'clock. And uh, left about uh, uh, 7 30, 8 o'clock. So there is continuous invasion. That is why the old place uh, is the way it is. You can, you can see that uh, citizens can't go about their normal businesses. There is hung, all, hung all, of, all over the land. There is uh, 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 food 
crisis, there is uh, uh, sicknesses all over the place, people cannot stay, there is no water to drink, not in fact, the people's life is down. So is it true that um, some of these uh, guys called Aven Avengers are living uh, in your town? Those are the ones responsible for the recent bombing of pipeline. Are they living in your town? I don't know who is called Avenger or Invader or Avenger. I don't know who is called by that name. But we know that there are some dissatisfactions in the Niger Delta. But we don't have people called Avengers, Invaders or Avengers. We don't know them. They don't live in this community. They don't live in Baramatu. Yes, there are criminal elements all over the place, like the whistleblowers that we have in uh, Wari Southwest that, is, that are pointing accusing figures to the people of Baramatu. Those are also criminals. They are known criminals. They are known oil bunkers. They are known uh, 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 thieves. These are criminals. So there is, you cannot rule away the fact that there are criminal elements in the society, but that there are some people who have come together to call themselves invaders or avengers and they stay in Oprosa or Baramantu, we don't know them. We are not part of them. They don't stay here. We have not seen them. So uh, can you describe to me life of an individual or a common person in, in uh, Oporosa now? How are they feeling that they know that they cannot sleep with their two eyes closed? How will you describe their life? The life is, is, is like uh, they say, the, the average life of the Baramantu man is short, brutish. In fact, we have come back to those early days life where you don't you don't know what will happen tomorrow. Today you saw a picture of a, a, a promising young girl that was cut short by the bullet of uh, 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 the marauding uh, uh, military men. As I speak, my junior sister is killed. She is in the mortuary. She is right now in the hands of the military. She is in the mortuary. So, I, 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 I am talking about my junior sister. I am full of life and all that. But this is somebody who is far junior. I am mean about 50. My junior sister is about 40 something. She has been cut short. Her life has been cut short. That is the average, uh, average life of, of, of the Brahmatu man and the Brahmatu woman. We, we wake up. We, we, we sleep with our two eyes open with fear. You don't know when somebody will knock and then grab you and say you are an avenger and then take you to 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 to, to the hangman you don't know in the daytime you cannot sleep you cannot rest you cannot eat and once this uh, military uh, come and take over the only thing you have to do because you don't have any source of defense the only thing you will do is to run into the bush